This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, my name is Mike Hermes and welcome back to my channel. Well guys, today we're going to do a follow-up video on a modeling tutorial we did a while back. Uh, we're going to take a flashlight and we're going to add actual light to that scene. Okay, so especially for you car modeling guys and girls out there, uh, this will give you the opportunity to add some really cool effects to your model. All right, well that said, let's get started. Here we go. Okay guys, we're in uh, Keyshot 6.2 and uh, especially for you car guys, you are probably going to love this, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to load up a flashlight that I modeled a while ago and I'll put a link in to uh, find that original tutorial where I created this uh, flashlight and we're going to add some light to the scene, okay? So I'm going to go to uh, File, I'm going to go to Import and I'm going to select my flashlight Keyshot file that I created I'm going to copy the files and I'm going to discard changes. Okay, so it's going to load up my flashlight. This is the one that we created back then. And as you can see, we have this uh, light bulb inside and that's what we want to illuminate. Okay, so first we need to identify uh, the object. So for that, we're going to make sure that we're in our scene and we're going to start to disable parts of our light. So we can find out what's what, okay? Now, I pretty much know that it's this guy here, Polysphere 2, so we're just gonna disable all this stuff. And the only thing we have visible right now is our light bulb, okay? Now, in the material section, you have the option to add light, as you can see here, and we're gonna select that. We're gonna go to uh, Accent Lighting down here. So under the uh, modular lighting instruments, and here you can decide what type of light you want, okay? Now I'm gonna go with an LED, and I'm gonna take this guy, and we're just gonna drag and drop onto our light, okay? Now let's see how that worked out. We're gonna turn back on everything, and let's have Keyshot do its magic, and turn on our light as well. We'll give that a sec. And it looks like it didn't take. So I'll just redo that. I'll left click and drag my light and I'll drop it onto my Polysphere 2 right here. And there we go, okay. Now you can clearly see that the light has taken effect and you can see it in our scene as well. And what I'll do is I'll just go into the background here and I'll make that nice and dark. So you can clearly see that this is working, okay? Now, especially when you're modeling cars and so forth, that can be very cool. Uh, you can also go into the material attributes to change the settings on that. So we're gonna go to edit material. You can change the color. So for example, let's say I want something that is less uh, yellow orange, but more towards blue, right? You can tweak that light any way you want to fit your needs, okay? Now, let's just find a color that's all right. Actually, I'm gonna hit cancel because I kinda like that orange. Now, here you have the multiplier that you can play with when you bump that up, like so. And we'll keep it somewhere around here. And then you have a radius you can play with, depending on what you want. Now, this is kind of out of whack, as you can see, especially for a flashlight. So we'll just uh, bring that back. And that is much more suitable. Okay. Now, one more cool thing I want to show you guys is that you can actually animate this light. Okay. So let's say you want to turn on or off your flashlight, or let's say you want to flash the lights of your car. Okay. Now, what you can do there is we'll select our material once again, which is our LED down here. We're going to right click. We're going to go to edit material and that will pop up this menu right here. And actually that was already up, but that's how you do it. And then we're gonna go into our material graph. Now, once we go into that, you see that this is our light right there. And I'll just try to do it in a way that we can see it all. There we go. And then I'm gonna right click in this field here. I'm gonna go to animation and we're gonna add a number fade, okay? Now, while we do that, I'm gonna click down here on the animation bar so you can see what's going on down there, okay? 
And with this number fade, I'm going to left click and drag this guy and drop it onto that one right there. And I'm going to go to multiplier because that is what I want to animate. I could also, for example, animate the color. Let's say I want it to run from red to blue, let's say on a cop car. Okay. But in this case, I'm going to go with multiplier. Now I got my settings here, right? So I can tweak that. So let's see what we got so far. Okay. We're going to minimize this. We're going to go down here and we're going to play our animation and let's see what happens. And there you go. Okay. You can tweak that setting to what you want, how you want and so forth. What I'll do here is I'll just stop this animation and I'll just quickly demonstrate how you can do that with a color change. Okay. So let's just uh, undo that and we'll go back in, into our material graph. Uh, let's see, that's our number fade. Let's delete that. We're going to right click in this field again. We're going to go to animate. We'll do a color fade. Let's bring that over. We're going to click on this guy and drag it over there. And there we go. Let's click on color. And then here, oh, that's a nice color. <laughs> okay. Here you can go in here and let's tweak that a little bit. So we've got a start time and an end time here. So let's say our start time is zero. Our end time is, I don't know. Let's do two. Maybe three, that's fine. Okay, and then we'll take that and we'll give that a go and see what we get. Okay, and you can see that the color is changing from blue, purple. It's kind of a disgusting disco light, if you will. Okay, so that's the essential. Play with these settings and have some fun with that. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please hit the like button and please subscribe to support my channel and keep me going. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.